What's up dudes, Chooch, back with another one. This is the uh, Bego T4 footage from ripping around. This is actually like a, the day before I um, ended up messing it up trying to do that log crossing. Uh, I really, really love this wheel, man. And it like, when, it, when this thing rode, you can just tell in this video without me even saying anything. That's why I kind of wanted to post this so you, it would show um, how good of a riding, you know, 17 inch wheel this really is when it does work. Um, and it really, man, I'm, I have been absolutely bummed out, dude. I've literally gone out there and tinkered with it, just like hoping that like it got a second wind and would like maybe turn back on or something. But, um, uh, I got parts coming in. Supposedly they should be here like next week, um, for a new motor and motherboard for the thing. But you can just tell right here, man, how great this thing actually rides, man. It's really fast. Um, it it handles so well off-road man there's just no other there's no other way to explain it um i love the way this thing rode off off-road guys it it handles so much better than the big like 18 inch wheels 20 inch wheels um 19 inch wheels man it just handled so good in this single track i mean you can just whip it around in this single track stuff like nothing man and like those mountain bike trails i rode it on it was stellar dude and like I, I cannot believe they made such an incredible wheel, such an incredible riding wheel that just has one small problem with it, um, with that the, the motor slippage issue in it. And you can just tell right here, like, there's a lot of little things, like even that jump, man, there's a lot of hard landings and stuff I was, I was doing on this, and it never slipped, it never had a single problem, man, but it was like... It can't, and I'm beating myself up kind of, and you know, hindsight is twenty twenty. but I'm kind of beating myself up about the fact that I tried to ride it over that log and, you know, cut it short. Um, dude, this even cost me, like, um, a lot of pre-order sales and stuff posting that video, guys. You got to think about that. People from the unboxing day to, um, like, yesterday, like, five people canceled their pre-orders for this thing, guys. And that cost me, like, 250 bucks, you know of you know even more than that of people just canceling their pre-orders so me posting that video was being really transparent with you guys and honestly that's going to cost some vendors money that's going to cost b go some money and you know i just i really had to post that man you know i could have waited i could have done whatever but i really went out of the way and i posted that video before i even posted the writing content from the day before that happened so I just wanted to get that out there to show y'all, you know, what did end up happening with it. But this right here, I want I want you to see what good, of, like, how good it was riding, and I and how great of a time I was having on it. And I really want be good to get this thing worked out, and to where there's no problems with this at all. And I think this is going to be a stellar wheel. If they have to release, you know, a T5 or something in the future, or if I really want them to just put it out there that there's going to be no problems with this thing because um, for the most part, man, your, your typical riding is not going to happen. You're not going to have that motor slippage issue. But when it happens, man, it just pisses you off because it's like a big component, man. It's like the motor is a big, that's a, a big deal on an electric unicycle, you know. So whenever that goes out and then it causes your motherboard to go out, it's kind of like, oh, no, dude. But you can see how good it rides right here, man. And I think once the kinks are worked out on this thing, it's going to be one of the top selling wheels of the year. Um, it, it simply will. I think there's a lot, there was so much traction that first day of people wanting it. And if you want to get a V12, if you want to pre-order the EX30, anything like that, the Sherman S, use my pre-order links, guys, because... I got sent this wheel and no one's no one's buying any any wheels through my links or anything right now because I don't have one of the new wheels to show off, dude. I got one of the new hottest wheels in that people were wanting, and it failed on me, you know. And I could have been a you know kind of sleazy about it and not shown the video of it happening and just posted this, and you know more people would have pre-ordered it. But I went out there and I just wanted to show you exactly what's up with it, you know. I wanted to be truthful with you guys and let you know. Um, even though I had such a great time riding it, look at listen to my remarks right here. Like when it's working good, I was amazed. It's definitely better than the V12 high torque or the V12 high speed. It just simply is, dude. The suspension, everything. Once the firmware works now, it's it's good, dude. It rides really good. I'm not just saying that. People say, oh, you always say 
You like the new wheel that comes out? Well, no shit. It's upgraded from the last wheel. That's what I keep saying. And this one's upgraded from the V12 for sure. So it rips. Check it out. I mean, you see that? Like I really was. I'm not just saying that, guys. But the wheel was working well. One of the best riding. I mean, it, it it was the best riding electric unicycle I've ever been on, guys. So I got a lot of hope for it. Wanted to give you all this update and show you how good it rode before it conked out. And whenever I get new parts in, I'll let you know. And I hope that everything works out with this wheel because it's a stellar wheel and it just kind of sucks that that happened. But I'll see you dudes in the next one.